Yeah. Amen. Amen. Well, what we want to welcome everybody this morning. Uh, day 32. Day 32 of the global prayer with Prophet Adams and myself, Prophet Smith. It's a blessing to have y'all. Amen. Amen. Um, I'm sitting here next to the woman of God. Um, we're praying. We've been praying for 32 days. 32 days of fire. The 32 days of fire from the heaven. We just thank God for the God of Isaac, Abraham, and Jacob. And he's showing up like he always is. Yes. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yes. He's shining. He's shining like he always does. He shines, he shines brightest. He shines brightest after all the pressure and all the and all the rain and everything that been that you had to go through. And all and, and you know, God shows up then and shows out. He shows up and shows out. And you know, we just want to thank God. And you know, I mean, I can I can honestly tell you, since this prayer, well, this warfare, this war spiritual warfare, man, it's it's real. It's real. This it, it wanna break you in every way. It don't want you to come the more and more you fight, it wants you to I mean. It just wants you to give up, but you know I'm the type of person. You fight me more, I'm gonna fight you. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna continue to keep fighting. You know I'm, gonna, I'm the opposite. So I, you know I guess that's why they say we'll procure your people. You know so, and um, you know, I, like I said, we thank God, we thank God, we thank God, we thank God, we thank God for just manifesting Himself. Thank you, Jesus. And we pray, and, and we count it our joy that each and every person that join in every morning, and you know, get up with us. You know, you're part of the family. You're part of the team. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Jesus, I thank you. I thank God. I thank God. I thank God today. The more you press, prophet, as you mentioned, the more you, the more dedicated you get, the more the fight. The more intensified the fight becomes, the more determined you are to press and push, the more intensified the, 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 the fight becomes. And some of us just don't like to be under the pressure. And see, that's where jewels come from. That's exactly where all the precious jewels, the diamonds, the pearls, the sapphires, all the the, the all the Precious stones and arrays, they all come from pressure. You can't stay in the heat, you got to get out the kitchen. That's where the when you, when you apply pressure, things happen. Either Amen. you're gonna prep, you either you're gonna squeeze out perfection or you're gonna pop. And the heat of the pressure, or you can't stand the weight of the pressure, I should say. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for the fight. Thank you for the press. Thank you for the tenacity. Thank you for the courage, because it takes a lot of courage. It takes a lot of courage. It takes a lot of courage to go against the flush. It takes a lot of courage to go against the grain. It takes a lot of courage to go against the natural makeup of the flush, something that we're so used to just flowing in. We're so used to flowing in the flush. Mm -hmm. go against the flushing again fasting and disciplining the flush oh it's gonna fight like any child child children don't like to be reprimanded and disciplined neither do adults amen you know what probably you know it's been like every every day the lord did deal with me about um, something that he wanted us to talk about and bring it bring forth to the people in prayer and so I'm I'm getting it now. So yeah, uh, yesterday, all yesterday, you know, the Lord is still for a few well uh, for the last few days. The Lord has been stressing about the family. The Lord, the, the um, it, He's showing us that family is very important to Him. And and He was telling me yesterday um, that this, He said He said Tori, 
in 2020, what have you been seeing through the family? And and I and I was like, well, and I, I, I took a minute to think. And he said, just to go, he said, just go through social media and and, and just look. So I, I so I did. I began to just go through this year, or what they were doing and things. So he began to show me. He's like, look, look at all the challenges that the people are doing, all all, all the things that 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 don't stand that, that don't stand for me. And it was one in particular that I felt like it grieved the Holy Spirit, and that was a shut up challenge. And you feel that it grieved the Holy Spirit? Yeah. Oh, well, I know. I, I felt. I felt they grieved them. Okay. And it was called the shut up challenge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The shut up challenge. Um, Tell me about the that. Shut up. What does what does that what does that look like? Well, 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 well the shut up challenge is where mothers would mothers would get with the children, and and, and like it's when the mother and the father and the children would be home, and the father might just be home resting from work. Or just coming in for work, watching TV or playing the game or something, and 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 the mothers would ask the children certain things to do, and um like okay, um, can you go go to the car and go get this um, item out the car, and the kids would be like, mom no, and then, and then the kids would be cussing or they'll cuss at them and they'll tell them, um, hey, hey no, you go get it, and and the dad and you know most time the dads would get up. And they'll and they'll go chastise the child, but but then when the father react, he'll get up and he'll go run out the kid and the mom the mom and children like, hey no 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 that 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 no no that it's a joke it's a joke it's a joke, and so and so it's pranking it's pranking the dad, and, and and you know but but it's lying I mean it's lying to the um that I mean it's lying to get a reaction out of the dad. And to see where he's going, they know he's going to blow a gasket because of, of the disrespect that's going on in the home. Oh, so you're but, challenging your parents. That's what you're doing. You're yeah, you, 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 yeah, it's like you're testing the father, but but it's pinning the kids against the father. Yeah. And the, kid, the, the, the kids and the mother against the father. Yeah. And, and, you know, I mean, and it's just getting the, it shouldn't be that way. It should be the mother and the father together, you know, and, and you know it, it's trickery. I mean, it's just trickery. And, and you know, I, I see, I see what it is to, to see how strong the father is, but it's still, it's still a, a wrong way to just do things. And you know, and you know, it, it's it's just not right. You, you know, you coming at a parent like that. You know, in certain ways. And you know, I just, I, I just seen it. Um, and I just watched all watching videos on it. Kids cursing at the parents and total disrespect, and then and then at the end of the um video, at the end of, at the end of the videos, the um children like no 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 that it's a joke it's a joke it's a joke it's a joke. But but by that time you know you don't blow a gasket. Something, something, something. That's all I saw. But I, I, I don't, I don't participate in all of that stuff. You know, every, I can't be, I can't, I can't deal with all the fad that's going on. You know, that ain't, that ain't what we, that ain't what I'm doing. That ain't what I'm about. All yeah. that, everything that come out, everybody want to be a part of everything that's going on in the world. And you know, we have to, we have to, you know, live in the world, but be not of the world. See, we have to remember yes. these scriptures. If we remember the scriptures that are written in the Bible, we will cause ourselves to be separated from so much in the world because that's what the world is doing. But the same shit don't have no business partaking in that. You know, there is things that we are not supposed to do. We're just not supposed to do if we just obey, obey the word. And it's not that you think you're better. You've just been chosen. You've been bought with a price. You are under a different mandate. You are under a different requirements. You are under a different law. You are under a different system. You are under kingdom systems. You are under kingdom systems. And as part of the kingdom, prophetess can't get involved in all kinds of stuff. It's part of the kingdom. I can't partake in all kinds of stuff. And I don't. And most folks okay. know I don't, so they don't even include me no more. And, and I'm all right with that because my goal is to get to heaven. I don't care what my neighbors is doing. I don't care what new car they just bought. I don't have to try to outdo them. 
I don't care who living on the mansion on the hill. I don't, that stuff is not important to me. I'm but, looking but, 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 the spiritual but, 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 realm for spiritual but, stuff and edification, but, not for but, natural but, edification. But the thing I'm, no, no, probably, no, I think you um, tell you the, the, the wrong what I'm saying. We, we, we know where we stand. We know where we stand. But I'm saying is is when we get our children, or, because you have to understand is when our children go to church, I mean, go to schools and, and they're around their social, they're around their peers, then they want to, I mean, the children know where we stand. But but you know when the devil creep in and the devil go, go through the children because he know he can't get you. So when he go through the children, and, and you see these habits and the and the thing that these are, our children pick up uh, from from the outside. I heard, you, I heard you perfectly clear the first time. I, I, I still but, believe but, but, in but, the scripture. They I know, just but, train but, them up in the way they should go when they old. They don't depart from it. My children stray, and at the oh. end of the day, influences or not influences, we at a young age. All of us have to make a choice. I see God shows us where we're not. You see which one of your children was listening, which ones was paying attention, which ones just gonna break the rules anyway. All he's doing is revealing to us what's in our, what's coming out of our home. Yeah, my children had to do it. They all was, and I was in the school building. I was I was teaching in the building. My kids were I, I was being called to classrooms all day long with my follow with my boys. And I said, Jaw is just wow. And, and God just shows me, was, show, was showing me the core, the core. I mean, you got, you had the two, you had the brothers. They, it was, they were brothers. They came from the same womb. You saw in Jacob, one was good, one was good, and one just wasn't. No. So, I mean, uh, but, but. The day, if you, we, they know what we stand for. And if they're with us, they're going to go and represent that no matter where they're at. Yeah, is that, and if they're I, not, I agree with that. And if they're with not that. with us, that's going to show up too, anywhere, mm -hmm. any and everywhere they at, you know? And my kids Ooh. just showed me, you know, some of my kids just showed me that they just wasn't there yet. But I just, I'm just continuously praying for them. Years later, I'm still praying for them. And, you know, the it's, and, I, and, and, and for the most part, I wouldn't even think, I'm not even saying like, I'm talking about more of the people that's really just coming into Christ yes. and they and they getting their foot footing into Christ. And, and so, when you're coming into Christ and, and then your kids are uh, coming in, uh, coming into that new uh, foundation too, and and you trying to figure out w w um, how to get started raising them and, and bringing them in, and, and and the opposition is there. Yeah, every second count when we got these kids from the moment we start, from the moment we find out we're pregnant, it's a new yeah. posture that must be taken because these kids start picking up spirits in the womb rejections and different fears and different, you know, just different stuff that just clean. I, I, I don't know. I, my, my lenses is a little different. So I remember, I remember this, um, when, 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 when my daughter's mother, um, 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 first, uh, first told me she was uh, pregnant right then and there every night I came home, I, I would spend at least an hour um, speak, uh, reading scriptures and and praying and praying and, and and talking over my baby, talking to her, developing that relationship. And I seen it for myself, and I was like, God. And but by, but by the time my daughter was born, well, um, when her mother, um, when I seen I was in the delivery room when the doctor, um. Uh, pull pull my daughter out and, and put her um in my um in my daughter's mother's arm. Or um my my, my daughter mother says uh something and, and and my daughter was looking up and I never forgot the doctor told me to say something. And I'll tell you this might have been the most beautiful moment of my life. I never forget. I said something and my baby girl looked up at me and she knew me. She smelled me. And I said, I said, is that what God is all about? I, I, and, and, and then God said, and I'm saying it now. He flipping, he flipped around in the natural. He said, that's how I feel about you. And, and I, I turned around and it's like, I saw the dependency of my daughter's eyes looking at me. Daddy, I need you. I need you. 
and, and, you, and you're responsible for me. That made me wake wake up as a man. That was the greatest moment of my life. I said I will work three, four jobs to break my back to support and and make sure you will never go without. Because I knew my father, my mom, I knew my father growing up. He wasn't there like that, and that man, but but it was my stepfather and my grandfather that took took that reign in, in my life. So I knew, I knew, I knew what it was to be uh, anchored in the Lord. And I said, I said, well, I said from this point on for the rest of my life, I'm gonna be there for this right here. And but but then but then the Lord said, um, He told me, He said, I'm here for you through this life and after this life. He said, so so, so I began to just. You know, just thinking about it now, I tear up. Now, just thinking about it, I like just, just just looking at her. She smelt my scent, and I again I go back to the analogy about the shepherd and the lamb. When the lamb go too far, that lamb know that lamb hears that voice of that shepherd, and he knows he knows what that shepherd is. And as you go astray, and he pull you back in. You know that gentle caressness of that shepherd, and you know the forceful fear of that shepherd. That shepherd is like the father, but 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 when he guiding you back, you know the force behind that hand. And, and I'm saying that force behind that hand with the Holy Spirit is is life or death in that hand. Mm. Mm, he's he's perfect. Mm and you, you like if i know then what i know now if i known then what i know now my posture would have been different during my pregnancy my mindset would have been different if i'd have known now but you're hormonal you're going all over the place you got situations you got you know what i'm saying stuff going on it, it's just it's just important to make sure that you are cultivating the souls of these babies from the beginning it's just things it's just things just like the lord spoke over us Mm -hmm. everything natural spiritual the lord spoke over us and and created the life and the and, and, and the pathway for us before the foundation of the world he said i knew you before the foundation of the world i chose you i chose you i spoke life over you he spoke to us so therefore we ought to always be speaking to our seeds mm -hmm. and making sure that we're prospered but if you don't know these things in the articles of god before you have these children you will find yourself birthing these children under the in the mind in the wrong posture. So now they they've been they haven't been covered in the womb, but they've been cursed from the womb, right? So mm -hmm. it's, it's, and it's, and it and it shows it shows from the moment you have them, you start catching hell with the kids. But that's all the Lord always said. This also the Lord said, watch. Uh, um, you got to watch who you have kids with too. That, but that's what that's part of it. If you say that yes. you rooted and grounded and know the word of God, you would know not to not to accompany yourself with unbelievers. And you will know these things. You know what I'm saying? You that'll be automatic if you read and knowing your word. You would properly know what needs to be done so that these babies can come out, come out here praising and worshiping the Lord in the womb. You know, you will we'll be will be will be different. We, I would have did different. I, I, I'd have known what I know now. My God, I would have done different. It's so many things that would have been postponed. It's so many of the of my children that would have been postponed. I mean, you know, just pushed back for a season for me to get educated and know something. I knew mm. nothing having these children. You know, the first few I knew nothing. Amen. Just mm. you know, just didn't know. Just didn't know. And and it, and it, and, it, and you know what you don't know will kill you or your offsprings. What you don't know will kill you or your offspring. If they don't kill you, it'll kill your offsprings. And it's sad. And, and sometimes, you know, that's we're just dealing with so much in the spiritual realm. And so much of this, my people perish from the lack of knowledge. And these are the things, this is what's causing our early deaths. Why should a man die before their time? This little stuff like that. And it comes in with first and challenging and disrespect. These things that the kids begin to postulate stuff. I didn't care what influences I was around. There was just certain things, my influences and pressures and peer pressures and all these excuses that we make for the choice, for decision-making. It was just certain things that I just was not going to do. You just couldn't pressure me into being disrespectful to the seniors. You just certain <laughs> things you just couldn't pressure me to do. I mean, certain people, I just wasn't going to challenge. Amen. Amen. You know, and it's just when you start seeing the, the 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 wickedness of your seed 
you got to take heed to that because because I mean as he's like I say he's like Jacob. I mean one was one was of their one was of God and what was of their father the devil. And you know what? And 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 and, 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 and it, even if you think about this too, who was that? Uh, uh, the prophet with, 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 um, with the many colors. Um, Jacob. No, 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 no. The coat with many colors with all the brothers. Um, yeah. He was the king, Moses. No, no, no. It's all, uh, Was it Joseph? Oh, yeah. Was it Joseph? I think it was Joseph. He threw him in the, uh, in, the, in the pit. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Joseph. Yeah, Um. you got to even think about that. <laughs> Huh? You know I, said? I said I said Moses Joseph. <laughs> <laughs> um, when when Joseph, um, when he had that vision, and he told his father about the vision, I know. Uh, that he had that 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 that, that his family, um, w w w um, um, his brothers was going to serve him. Yeah, yeah, his brothers and 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 and, and his lineage will uh, serve him. And, and you know he was he was he was the um Joseph was one of the lesser um he, he was the youngest one one of the youngest ones and um and, and the brothers you know they they, they got at it when they first heard it yeah but can you imagine the ridicule he went through and then and then, then he and, and that was in the spiritual he felt first um he, he felt that in the spiritual but then when he brought it to pass he said it in the natural they laughed at him. Then he had to go through the test. He had to go through the, the he had to go through the test. He had to go through the um and, and the prison. Man, the he went to prison, but every time he went through the, um, you see, even when he went to jail, God gave him favor when he was in jail. He began, he um he began to be one of the uh, highest ranking um chat um you guys in jail they can open up he had he had privileges he can open up the prison and go to and fro and then he, um, they raised him to another level in the jail and, and then so, then he began to take an office behind the pharaoh but i said that say this right here he went through the like you said he went through the pressures of life and still whatever fell on him he still he took it and smiled he took it on the chin and and you know and there were times he cried he got lied on he got got on, and, and you know, and he had to run. He had to run for his life at times, and but but through it all, he still he still stood there, um, and he still he still stood with God. He knew where his source came from, and that's what we got to know where our source come come from. We got to know that when it's all over, we gonna wear that crown. But 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 until we get to that final destination that God got for us, we got to know. That whatever whoever whoever we um were bounded to at one time or or, or or connected to at one time, they may turn up. They more they may, more than likely they gonna turn on us. But, but we gotta still still be anchored in God and know that we know that we know that we know that God is for us. Because you said it yesterday. If God be for us, who gonna be against us? We got to know that. We can't be moved by what we see. By what we feel, by what we're going through, and that's a callus. You know, you have to put a callus. You have to, you have to develop a callus over your life. You have to develop a callus on your skin, on your flesh, on your, on your emotions, on your a callus to where as though not that you don't feel, but that you're not penetrated by the by the by the world of the, by the world of things. You can't be moved by the fleshly things. You can't be moved by the by the earthly things, by the things you see, by the things you hear. You can't be moved, you know? And if you are, they don't know it. God mm -hmm. would tell us to keep our faith as a flint, meaning no matter what you hear, no matter what type of news you hear, no matter what type of things they say, your countenance don't display what, what your emotions is, is going through. It's not their business. See, give me no place for the devil. You go home and go behind closed doors and you just let it all out. I do all the time. You talked about this last night. Mm -hmm. I have so, so I've cried myself to sleep more times than I could ever, ever, ever imagine accounting. Mm -hmm. Regularly. You know, not you know, often, very, very often. Sometimes I just I just cry and I, and 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 I cry and I and I pour out to God regarding what I may be going through or experiencing, what my children may be going through, what my family members, what the loved ones, what the souls of the people, what of the pressures of life that I have to deal with. You know, we do. 
but it's not for the world to see because we got to remember the devil is waiting to see. He chases and he follows routine. He is an expert at body language. He is an expert at emotions. He is an expert at seeing and displaying and bouncing and playing off what we what we what we give off. Your pattern, uh huh. He's a yep. Yeah. He's a he's a minister. He's a he's a he's a he's an expert at watching our patterns. He don't know what we've got going on. He knows he sees pattern. He sees routine. He sees your fleshly pattern. He's a watcher. He pays attention to details. He is strategic in watching. Mm. He said, I'm going up and down, true and false, seeking who I could destroy, watching for the for the negativity, watching for the disrespect, watching for them out of line, watching to see who's doing what, who's going against the, the, the who's going against the grain. Nice. How, how can I go and it going against the grain? That's an open door. Here I come. Here nice. I come. And this is how he gets you. When you in disobedience, when you out of line, he's seeking up and down, true and fro to see who's out of line. Who's out of their lane? Who's out of the boundaries? Let me see who's living, who's living in the who's in the bubble, who's covered, and who's decided to step out. Let me peep out. Let me see how I let me see if I can push. Here he come. Ah, got one. Let me go help them in their endeavor. Let me go help them in their endeavor. He jumped right up there to go to talking to him. Hey, you know, you know. He know that key word that is going to set you off. Huh? He know that key word that's going to set you off. He, he going to know that pattern. Oh, oh. Yep. Well, well, growing up, I seen that she didn't like it like this. Yep. And, and so, oh, so I know say, she always chased after this type of this style. She liked this. Oh, she's always she's always following the lust of her eyes. Oh, okay. I, ah, okay. I know what got her going. He knows us. He's been watching us from the beginning. He knows routine. That's why when you begin to shift and get that fat flush out of control, under control, he don't know what you thinking. He don't know which way you're going because he don't know how you're moving because you got your flush under control. You check that flush. Boy, you man. check that flush. You when you, 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 when you check that flush, you shake him up because he don't know how you're moving no more. He lose, he lose sight of you. See, he lose sight of you. But when he know when he see your routine on a, on a regular, he see you, he like and then and then next thing you know, you start doing stuff and the Lord is sitting the Lord is sitting up there and saying, "Who told you that?" <laughs> there we go again. Who told you that? Who you been talking to? Where you been? What you been out there doing? Who told you that? Where you get that from? And people, you got to realize when God asks you a question, he already knows the answer. So, and, no, do you know? Yeah. He poses the question because he, he, he knows every, he's omnipresent. He knows the movement that we move. He sit up there beholding good and evil, watching our moves, watching who we are, because his, as our father, he want to see if he can trust us, if he can give us more, or do we got to be held back in first grade? We gotta hold us back in kindergarten, or can we be, or can we be promoted to first grade? Mm -hmm. huh? Can we? Can we? Did we pass the test? Did we pass the exams? Is we? Is we? Is we? Is we? As we exuding what we was taught in the in kindergarten? Are we saying our ABCs, or are we skipping letters? <laughs> are, we, are we counting from one to twenty, or are we skipping and mixing up everything? Can we go and teach the other? Can we teach? Can we show them what we know, or do we gotta sit down and continuously be taught properly? See, everything natural is spiritual. You can't, you, you know, I can't, I can't give you, I can't give you, listen, math is a building block. I used to love math. I, I still do love math. I'm not as good as it. I'm not as good at it as I was when in my youth. I was really good at math. I, at one point I was, I was, I was seeking to be a doctor. Math and science was always, I loved it. I loved those subjects. And I, um, and math is a building block. I can't teach you division until I know that you mastered math, uh, math, uh, 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 uh uh, addition, addition, subtraction, and multiplication. I can't teach you multi uh, division until I know that you've mastered addition, subtraction, and multiplication. Because division is an add-on to multiplication. It's gonna, yeah. it's gonna show that you know your numbers. You know, you you got them like that. I can't add to you if I know that I can't give you more if you didn't figure it out and mastered and properly um, understood and know the insides and outs of what you're supposed to be taught. You got to. 
counting fingers and toes and in subtraction, we ain't ready for division. We ain't ready for multiplication. Amen. You know, everything natural is spiritual, and we have to remember that with every situation, with everything we learn, with everything, every situation we deal with, listen, just know. Just know the way God see it is the way he expects us to see it, too. You know what, Providence, as Probably. you were speaking, the, 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 the Lord told me, that, uh, he was showing me this right here. He was saying, um, uh, Tori, um, you remember back when you was in uh, tw uh, 12th uh, grade and you were about to graduate? And I said, yeah, that, that's all in my mind. I was like, oh, okay, yes, yeah, yeah, so I remember that. And, and 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 he said he said this is how I I I've shown my I've shown myself in your life. Um, when I was in twelfth grade, I remember this. I, I had a job at uh, I was working I was I was working at Burger King, and and I was trying to finish my um uh, eleventh and twelfth grade year, but um to the point where I was um I have and, and and then I was hanging with my friends and you know you, you know you have the mindset of well i'm grown i'm gonna do what i want I, i'm making i'm making money and i'm and i got me a car and you know you can i couldn't you couldn't tell me that and so 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 my grandparents would tell me well you get up and go to school get up and go to school i said well i ain't get off work till 11 30 last night but she said you gonna get up and, and, and my granddad would say you gonna get up and go to school and then they would call my my father and um and they would tell him and he'll, he'll you know he'll put the force behind me so i would get up and so I just remember this right here. I had a big project that was due. It was a major pro project that, and it counted 70% of my grade before I graduated from high school. Senior exit project. Yes. And so I was working and having so much, I mean, I'm working, um, you know, having fun and being with my friends and stuff to where I forgot about the, um, I forgot that I came up to that weekend. It came up to that weekend, that Sunday night, and I just got off work, and I was and I was just about to lay down, and uh, in fact, I did lay down. I had to shower, got ready. I said, well, "I gotta get up for school in the morning." I get up at six thirty. The boy said, "Uh, uh, uh, uh." I remember that. Uh, 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 uh. He said, "Tori, what about your project? It's due at um eight a.m. in the morning." I said, "Oh God, I forgot about it," and so I knew I had to have that project together. And, and and so I remember all my friends. Everybody was bragging about their um how, how their grades were up, already up, so they not worried about it. So I I tried I tried to act like I was in the crowd with them. I was like, well, I ain't worried about it before that date. But then the Lord, He put it, He grieved my heart so much, I couldn't even lay down and go to sleep. He said, Tori, because if you don't go ahead and and and, and do that project, get that project. Get it, get the verbiage together, get the words together for the project and have your display ready. And, and, and we had to have a backboard. Yeah. yeah. Different sections. You got presentation. Yeah. You know what? And presentation counted for 70% of the grade. And, 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 and the verbiage and the wording of it only counted for what 30%. So so I said, I know I uh, so I, I got up out the bed. I remember this. I looked around, I said, God, I said, I said, oh, I, I need a, I, I said, I didn't even go get a backboard, I forgot it. And, and, and so <laughs> at the top of the, um, at the top of the trash can, it was a pizza box. I said, God, I got to do what I got to do. You know that, that, that from 1130 um, or midnight on to about maybe five in the morning, I worked on that project. Scram that project together. I got that project together and to, to where I knew I put I put my heart into it from from twelve to about five that morning, and I, I got an hour probably about forty five minutes worth of sleep before school started. And then and, and as I walked through the door, my friends and everybody um uh, everybody in the school and, and if you went to Matt in their high school, I'm, I'm, I'm bringing them back a memory and y'all laughed at me. But I um I had my paperwork in my hand. I brought my paperwork in first, but then I came in with my display, and people knew it was a pizza box, but they didn't know what how long how how hard I worked on that pizza box between twelve and five. I put my I put my uh I put my heart into that. But 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 it's like oh man, 
you may um you, um I, I had the letterings cut I had the I, I cut letters from construction paper I glued it on there and I, I had everything set and, and then so when I brought it in everybody else had their professional looking uh, construction paper and they had been working with their parents or whoever they had worked with them and they, and they looked, it looked good but then on and then on, at the end mine was all I mean it was all it was an old piece of hut box and it was cut up and and it was tilted to the side but um. But but and then then I put, and there, then we would ask to have our um folders with our verbiage and, and the written part of up under it, and so and people and and the judges would come around taking pictures of all the um projects and then they they would stop and they would look, they would stop and they would look, and they would stop and they would look at it, it, it might have been about eighty of uh, eighty of people that did it, but I'm saying all this to say this. Out of a out of a classroom of probably about 150 people, only about 90 people did their projects. And the ones that did the projects, I remember. I remember this Monday morning. That Monday morning we went in. The teacher, her name was Miss Goodley. I never forget her. She 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 she, 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 she was very strict. And and she gave she gave the tongue lashing of our lives about that Monday before we graduated about the project. She's like. She said, everybody should have, had, should have had a project. She said, you don't know. This is the most important grading of your, um, before you graduate. This is going to determine if a lot of y'all graduate or not. And she said, and so I remember um, before she got up, a lot of my friends and, and the classmates was laughing at mine. You know, I, I felt embarrassed. I was like, wow, I said, I should have put more effort into it. But, but I knew between 12 and 5, I did put effort into it, but I said I should have, the whole time, the opportunity with the timing that I had, I should have been seeding in, into my into my project. I should have been uh, gathering yeah, more. A little bit but, at a time. Yeah, and so, but but as they started going down the line and they started judging, and then they got to mine, and then people were laughing, but but, but I noticed that um, my teacher, she, she was the final judge, she wasn't the one. Um, she was. She was the only one that wasn't laughing. And, and, and so then she came up, and she said she announced out everybody that passed, and she saved me for last. And she came down and she said, "Tori, I'm uh, um." She didn't say Tori. I'm sorry. She said, "I know y'all looking at this project right here, and y'all say saying that this project um, is an old pizza box." And she's saying that it's cut out. And she said, but I, she said, I see the time and that, that was put into this. And she said, you know what? She said, Mr. Smith, I know you forgot about your project. But, and, and she said, you waited till the last minute to do it. But, but, and, and, and she so, said, but you know what? And, and, and she said, you know what, though? You participated in it. You, you participated and you got it done. She said, you know what, Mr. Smith? Congratulations, you graduated. And, and and then so and and then so you know out of that class of, of 150 people, I think about maybe 40 people that didn't that, that just didn't even turn in projects. They didn't graduate. And so I said that all that to say this right here. No matter the presentation or 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 how you cut out, you might be rough around the edges. You may be a hard hard nose, and but you know, God still can use you. God still will accept you. He will sell you through through everything you don't been through, just because everybody else done came from a two parent home. They had they had nice clothes. They 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 they, they, they had the finer things in life, and you you barely got through. You you barely got through life, um, as you know it. Um, you probably had to go out there and um help your parents and bring in income, and, and everything like that. But you know, God God still smiled on you. He still gave you the he still gave you the basic um, things in life you needed, and that was the love from the father. So so no matter what your background is, no matter who you who you thought you were, God said you still a king, you still a queen. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. I thank you. I thank you, Lord, because you know it ain't it ain't it ain't been easy. And God said it would. He didn't ever say it was gonna be easy. He didn't never say it was gonna be easy, but, but but you know, in spite of you know, God is still in the blessing business. And I, you know, and I used to always hear that when I was younger. 
what do they mean when they say in the blessing business? It, 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 it's exactly what it said it is. He's in the blessing business. He is the blesser and not the blessee. He blesses us according to uh, uh, prophet and in her own words, how we pivot, how we move. But like we said yesterday, you had to be obedient. This is this is a season of, of, of obedience, a season of posture. God, in fact, God, he, you know, a lot of us be so used to being slumped over like this all the time. Now God said, straighten up. That's your spine. You even you do damage to your back. He's a stand you up. Damage. Straighten up. Throw your shoulders back. Get yourself in alignment. The body have to be alignment. The natural body have to be alignment. So does the spirit man has to be in alignment with the father. He's the head. And we have to have an alignment. Our head, we have to have an alignment in order for us to have good posture and not have issues with our digestive system, with our headaches and, and different things. You'd be surprised that spine is 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 the is the balance in the equilibrium and the balance of everything that you do. It will you alter your, your digestive system, it will alter your headaches, it will alter your feet. You know, it will alter your knees. It, you having bad knees, it will alter the whole. Your posture will alter the whole trajectory of your of your of your existence. You hear this, Bishop Henderson? I need to just called your name out. Hallelujah! You ha we have to be postured properly. Everything natural is spiritual. I don't just say that. Just say that, or to be a you know, or to be a smarty pants. It's true. You know, you know this this everything natural is spiritual. The Lord gave me these little sayings, these little things that He gave this for me. He gave it for me. It was personal, but I gave it to the people because if it worked for me and it was a reminder for me, it, it, listen, I know it can help somebody else who Amen. may be trying to posture and, and maybe set up or postured as me or set up or, 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 try, or got a different posture from me and need to understand you having back problems, baby, because you're always sitting messed up in your seat. Sit back, sit on your pelvis is what my, was my, what is what, is what they was to, I was told by my doctors. Sit on your pelvis. Posture yourself properly. Mm. That's how you know if you're sitting and then and, and as a and as a and as, as one of my one of my um one of my careers is I also drive, you know, um a commercial driver. When I'm driving, listen, I have to posture myself properly. I love mm -hmm. driving. One of my one of my loves and passions is driving. I do. I love a good road trip, but I have to posture myself. You have to posture yourself so that you don't do no damage to your back. Do no damage. Next thing you know, your knees messed up. Your this messed up. We have to posture ourselves. Everything natural is spiritual, and this is the same thing with the Word of God. We have to properly posture ourselves so that we can hear. So that we can. If you ain't posture, if you ain't positioned in the right place when God call, you will miss it. Amen. Amen. You're right on that, probably. You're right on that. If you always in a crowd of noise, and you ain't gonna hear this nice, still voice when you like to be with people all the time. You don't never want to deal with self. You don't never want to be by self. You don't. You know. You don't. You won't learn to enjoy your own company. You won't learn to start dealing with your own self and enjoying you. If you don't enjoy being with you, who you think else gonna enjoy being with you? Some of us don't even know self. You know, some of us don't know self. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Listen, I have something that I want to, it's like, let me say this. Have anybody ever had uh, 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 the, uh, the, the, have anybody ever been in the belly of the whale? Have you ever been in the belly of the fish? Have anybody ever been in a hellish state? You ever been in a hellish situation? You ever been through some hell in your life? You ever been through some hardship because of your rebellion, because of your disobedience? You find yourself in a hard place. You find yourself in a hard place. You find yourself in a place that is seen and it appears and it may be hell. Amen. And you just get to a place that's just like your in place. And you like, oh, my God, you call on God like, Lord, help me help Jesus. I need you. I, I, ooh, I made a wrong. I came down the wrong street. 
came down the wrong road. I, 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 I tried it the wrong, the wrong road. I, I, I tried it wrong. I've heard you wrong. I've turned, yes. I've turned, I made a wrong turn. Lord, I need you help, help, help. God is listening. He's listening to the SOS call. He's listening for the SOS calls. He's listening for those calls that he can come in and help. He's listening. This is who he is. He's trying to see where and who is in need of trouble. Who needs him? How can I help my babies? Who need me? Who needs me? Who needs me? Amen. Who needs me? He's looking. He's searching to see who needs me. While Amen. the devil, on the other hand, is searching and going and walking, going to and fro, seeking whom he can devour, seeing who's out of who's out of line, who's this, who's misstepped. Well, okay, there's a rebellion one. Oh, there's one. Got one. Oh, it's four on this block. Mm -hmm. He knows his own. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> you know what? He, um, he, he knows his own. Uh, Prophet, do you mind if I share a scripture? Nope. Please. Um, do, do what you for, uh, First Thessalonians um, 4. I'm having a brain freeze. Thessalonians. Thessalonians. Okay. Jeez. Come on, devil. Get off my back. It's 18 verses in there, but but I feel like it's, it's a timely word. Yes, sir. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay. Um, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I, okay. It says, uh, furthermore, then we beseech you, brethren, and exhort you by the Lord Jesus, that as ye receive us as how ye ought to walk and to please God, so ye would abound more and more. For ye know the commandments we gave you by the Lord Jesus. For this is the will of God, even your sanctification, that ye shall abstain from fornic fornication, that every one of you should know how to possess his vessel in sanctification and honor, not in the lust of, of, of uh, cunt, cunt, uh, I always have a problem with that word right there. Cunt, cunt, condemnation? Yeah, first step. No, no. Concupiscence. Yeah, yes, thank you. Mm -hmm. Even as the Gentiles, which know not God, that no man go beyond and defraud his brother in any manner. But because the Lord is the avenger of all, and, and we as also have forewarned you and testified, for well, God have not called us unto uncleanness, but unto holiness. I'm, I'm going to say that one more time. For well, God have not called us unto uncleanness, but unto holiness. He therefore that despises the he he that he therefore that despise despises not man, but God. See? Have also given unto His Holy Spirit, but that also, verse again, huh? Can you read that verse eight again? He therefore that despises despises not man, but God. Yeah, He therefore that despises despises not man, but God, See? who also has given unto us the Holy Spirit. But as touching brotherly love, ye need not know taught of God to love one another. And indeed you do you do it toward all the brethren which are in Macedonia. But we beseech you, brethren, that ye increase more and more and that ye study to be quiet and to do your own business. And that, 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 that what you say all the time, mind my own business. Mind your own business. And to work with your own hands as we command you that ye may walk honestly toward them that um, that are without, and that you may also have lack of nothing. But I would not have you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning them that which are asleep, that you may that ye sorrow not, even as others which have no no hope. Mm. He giving us well, a way to live to where as though our lifestyle is showing through the people that ungodly people, folks that don't have no hope. They see how we living and they like, dang, well, what they doing over there? Let me see what they're doing so that I can get blessed like them. Because you ain't going to have no lack when you live in the way God tell us to live. There is no lack in us on this side of the fence. Mm -hmm. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, if so, them also would sleep in Jesus will God bring with him. Sleep, sleep. See, the saints sleep. Mm -hmm. 
for this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain until the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. For the Lord himself shall descend from the heaven without a shout, with the voice of the archangel and with the trunk of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then which then we which are alive remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. May God add the blessing to the reading of his holy word. There's no reason for the saints of God to have a boyfriend and a girlfriend. There's no reason. There's, there's no reason for it. When he specifically say that we are not supposed to live and be in lust and we're supposed to live holy. But if you get yourself under your flesh through fasting and praying, a boyfriend will be the furthest thing from your mind. Your flesh and your sexual, your sexual drive will be ceased and dismissed, brought to a screeching halt from putting the Holy Ghost on it. And that's Amen. just real talk for us single women, single men. There's no reason for you slipping, sliding, gliding. And, and, and that's what the word just said. As becoming saints, we are supposed to be called into un we are not supposed to be called to un to, to unto uncleanliness, but unto holiness. Amen. There's there's a posture to this walk, I'm telling you. You just can't, it ain't it, it, the Christians make it look too easy for me. The Christians are deceiving folk into thinking that you can just, I accept Jesus as my Lord and Savior. Yep, if you just have to, <clears throat> you just have faith and believe that's just it. That ain't just it. You gotta do more than just, you just gotta do more than just that, think it in your head and you gotta confess some things and you gotta posture yourself to now start learning the lifestyle. Mm -hmm. You gotta learn something. This is, this is strategic. Cause now you're gonna find out that your, now your body gonna go through the withdrawal. Let me just say it like that. Your body is going to start going through all type of withdrawals because you are withdrawing yourself from the norm of the life of which your flesh know it as. You are withdrawing yourself from the world's eating system, the world's Amen. TV system. You're withdrawing yourself from everything. You're going to be like, oh my God, you're going to find yourself cranky, going bonkers, going through um, withdrawals. Yep, yep. Yep, like an addict going through withdrawal from heroin, like an addict going through withdrawal from powder cocaine, alcohol, and like an addict going through withdrawals from sex and drugs and alcohol. You are going to go through withdrawal syndromes and you're going to find out you are more addicted to the world and these little things that was everyday life and norm to you. You are more addicted to it than you let on or that you knew. <clears throat> when you start challenging your flesh and you start putting your flesh through the test, and you start withdrawing yourself, you're going to be like, oh, my God. I know I was so addicted to seeing these people every day. Oh, my God. I didn't know I was so emotionally invested into these people that I see every day. Oh, my God. It's a lot. And then think, think of it just go cold turkey. I got to go. I just got to shift. I got to pivot. That's why you start eating. Now, after you pivot and get a new lifestyle, you start eating pretty light. Now you don't mm -hmm. deal with people like that. You ain't hanging. You ain't getting too caught up in stuff and people because you know the withdrawals but no joke. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We have to withdraw ourselves. I just ask God to help us today with the withdrawals. Help us with the, with the withdrawals. Help us with the detoxing because we have not just us here in the States, but there are people all over the world who are in, who are addicted to life, addicted to the things and the things of life, addicted to the worldly life that they don't understand the danger and detriment from when they have to get separated. You ever known somebody that drank all their life? There was an alcoholic, they did drugs all their life. The moment they decided to get clean and shift and pivot, the whole world collapse and they die because of the withdrawal. Come on, come on, Proverbs. You think about that all that. Real. Everything all natural that, is spiritual. All that extended grace they had in their life. This, Lord have mercy. Help us, help us, help us, help us, help us. That's how good God is. God, God, God would give you, He gives you extended grace. Oh God, and, you know, and, and and I go back to this about my daughter when my daughter was born. Mm -hmm. That's how he look at us. We need you, Jesus. 
He he don't he Jesus don't want us to go to hell. He don't want us to go to but but you know what? The father, the Abba Father, but he's true to his word. Jesus, Jesus is the is the one that's stopping him from uh, executing. From, from, from dropping fire bombs from heaven. A lot of us would already been in hell. I'm just be I'm be be, be straight. If we didn't have Jesus, a lot of us be in hell already. And Jesus is so merciful, and God is so merciful. The reason why we're going through some of the hell we're going through is because He's trying to roadblock us from going to hell in the in the spiritual. So naturally, He allow and creates. Thank you, Holy Spirit. He creates a fish just for us. Just as he did Jonah, he create a fish in our life. Do anybody go? Do does anybody have a fish in their life today? Has anybody been ate up and swallowed by a big fish in their life today? Has anybody decided to find or woke up and see that they became the one in the belly of the whale in the belly of the fish in hell? Mm -hmm. I found myself one day by and by in the belly of the fish in my life. I was in hell. Literally, mm. I was living in hell. I said, oh my God, it's got to be a better way. Mm. He said, it is. Sell all that you have, pick up your cross and follow me. I'll show you the way. Come on. I said, yes, yes, Lord. Yes, yes, yes. And he allowed that fish, meaning he allowed that circumstance that situation, that circumstance, he allowed it to disintegrate and where though I was able, he freed me up from that situation. Huh? Mm. Not so I could go back to the hell pit, but so that I could run. Son, when, the, when that fish spewed Jonah out of his mouth, the Bible say he made a, a what a three days journey and one night he put running, the Lord put running in his feet from that situation. Huh? Do anybody mm -hmm. got running in their feet today? I know I do. <laughs> You got some running in your feet, prophet. Hey, Amen. Hey, uh, ain't I... no sense of being quiet about it. You got you got some running in your feet too. Hey, I know I, I ain't yeah. the only one with running in their feet this morning. This and is I... why I'm running the prayer every morning because I know the hell I come out of, huh? Thank you, Jesus. And the, the, hey, prophet. What you want me to do? Yep, I forgot about that. Show me. You want me to go teach the who? Who you want me to say? What you need me to do? Yes, sir. Yes, sir, master. I'm on my way. Hmm. You better know it. Who got running in their feet today? Who been put in hell? How about that boyfriend you was with for many a million years that was fighting and knocking your head off? How about that fish? Huh? How about that fish? How about that wife that was beating you up and handling you, wasn't feeding you? How about that fish? Huh? How about your finances? How about the finances of poverty? You eating out of garbage can? How about that drug addiction? How about that fish in your life? Do you know, anybody got any fish in their life today? I know I had a whole lot of fish. Mm -hmm. One fish spit me out, the other one sucked me up. Mm hmm. Huh? And when I begin to cry, I said, Lord, Jesus, help me. Lord, I need some help. I messed this thing up. Jesus, oh God, oh, I don't know who he is. That's exactly how I pray. I don't know who he is. I don't know where you're at. But they say you're real. And if you're so real, you see I'm sick. You see these people that told me i got X amount of time to live. You see I'm addicted to drugs, alcohol, sex, men, and everything under the moon. You see I'm an addict. Huh? You see I'm messed up. You see, I'm going through treatment, cancer treatments, and coming out smoking. Lord, you see, my mind is all messed up. Come on now. Huh? How about somebody going to dialysis, coming out, having them a nice stiff shot? Coming off. Huh? It happens. Yeah. Friend of mine died of, uh, of, 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 died of, uh, uh, liver and I mean kidney failure because he was an alcoholic and he was on dialysis, but he couldn't stop drinking because he didn't have nobody to let him know. Baby, you need some deliverance. Amen. You need some deliverance from that addi ad that ad addiction, that spirit of addiction, so that you can get yourself clean. You need Jesus. What we don't know will kill us. How many of us got fishes in our lives today? How many got fish? Your fish can look like anything. Your fish can look like demon possession. Your fish can look like anger. Your fish can look like unforgiveness. Your fish can look like hatred. Your fish can look like murder. Your fish can look like sex addiction. Your fish can look like food addiction. Oh, it's so many addictions. Let me count the ways. Who was out here in the belly of the fish today? Porn. Porn? Come on with it, a prophet. 
we got to understand, we got to understand our demons. We got to see them. We got to know them. We got to know that they exist. An addict can't get no help. I don't care how many walls you go to. I don't care how many meetings you run to. I don't care how many meetings you run to. The program will not work until you first admit you got a problem. Houston, okay, my sex is my sex addiction is coming between my daily functions. Mm. You got to break that. This overtime, triple time, hammer time is coming between my daily uh, uh, my, my daily uh, functions with the Lord. It didn't pull me out of church because I'm chasing money, huh? Chasing mm. filthy lucre. It didn't pull me out of church. It didn't pull me out of Bible study. It didn't pull me out of study study. I ain't really growing. I'm just, le- I ain't really learning. I ain't really growing. I'm just in routine. We have to understand. We have to know. My people perish from the lack of knowledge. God is trying to, God is trying to spew us out of the mouth of the fish today. And we have to do a work. We have to call on the name of the Lord because that is where our help come from. That is where our help come from. I, that is where our help come from. I come today for help. I didn't come here to be pretty. I didn't come here to be nice. I didn't come here to be a uh, sassy. I didn't come here to do none of that. I come here because I'm in need of prayer. I'm standing in the need of prayer. My children are standing in the need of prayer. I may have been spewed out of the mouth of the, of the whale, of the belly, of the fish, but my children are still in some hellfire. My children are still going through hellfire. My sisters are still going through hellfire. My parents are still going through hellfire. My city is still going through hellfire. My country is still going through hellfire. Your country is still going through hellfire. We need to intercede and be praying. Was when, done God the is done in when God cleaned us up, it's time for us to start interceding and pivoting ourselves to reach back and pay it forward. Now it's time for us to pray and posture ourselves to pray for the next individual. We got to be praying. We are in need of prayer. Lord, we can't do this without you. I'm sorry, prophet. What you say? Oh, no, no, no. I just, I, no, I just said what's done in the spiritual is done in the natural. Everything mm. spiritual is natural. We are going through some things. Some of us is just trapped in our own mind. Some of us has developed the spirit of it. We have, we have opened up the door to the spirit of escape. No matter what's going on around us, our family in disarray, the children in disarray, we can go right in our little space and lock ourselves off and escape from everything and tune everything and everybody out. The house is on fire, my mama used to say. And you over there, you don't have a clue. Amen. The spirit of escape carries and comes with and hang with the spirit of mental illness. Huh? Don't get locked into that wall of escape in your mind and you can't find yourself out. That's where mental illness come in at. That's where these demons take your mind at. Don't get caught. Don't let the devil deceive you. Put you in a reprobate mind. Well, God will do that for you when you refuse to come out of your sin of, of, of homosexuality and lesbianism. And he said he will put you, give you a reprobated mind to do the things which are not convenient. Now you find yourself wanting to come out of homosexual and you can't. Now you like Pharaoh, he will hide your heart. He will fix your heart. He will fix your mind, put you in a reprobated state to where as though you can't change if you wanted to. <laughs> Help us. Come on. He's given us the opportunity to see ourselves, see self. Take a moment. Take a moment to be by yourself. Take a moment to shut everybody out. Take a moment to turn off the helophone. Take a moment to turn off the boob tube, the hella tube and the helophone. And take a moment to inwardly find out who you are. What's your chemical makeup? Why do you perform the way you do? Why do you act the way you act? Why are you running, running, running? What are you running from? Why are you running? What are you afraid of? What's going on in your head? What's going on in your flesh? What are you fighting? Man, that, that means if, if you got to sit the kids outside, they go play for a sit few them hours. Sit for 30 minutes, block them and box them in the backyard. Don't let them go nowhere. But find some moment to get you together. Lord, we need you. Father God, we need you. Oh God, we need you. We need you. We need you. We need you. We need you, Lord. We need you. We need you. We need you. We need you, Lord. We need you, God. We need you, Lord. But the people need you. Our souls need you. Our minds need you. Our our our, our joints need you. Our members need you. Our our extremities need you. Our every every fiber, every every fiber, our joints, our minds, our our our, our everything, our makeup. We need God. We need Him. We need Him. We you need just... him to shine light on the dark places in our lives. Trust me, we're walking in darkness. Trust me, you're walking in darkness. You don't even know it. That's how blind we are. The Bible says that the gods of this world, 
the gods of this world has blinded men to the truth. Trust me, you're walking in darkness. You just don't know it. Trust me. Trust me when I tell you. Trust me. Trust me when I tell you. Trust me when I tell you. Trust me when I tell you. When I tell you, I trust me. Trust me when I say it. When I say it, trust me. I trust me. Trust me. I will lie to you. I will lie not to you. I will lie not to you. I will not lie to you. I will not cheat you. I will not deceive you. Trust me. Trust me. Trust me when I tell you the devil is deceiving you today. You are you know being what? deceived in your own mind. Trust me. Trust As me. You, if you don't believe me, prove and see. Prove me and see. Prove. Say, take me at my word. Go and do what I ask, what I'm instructed, and watch you gonna find some things out about you that you had no idea that you've been running from for a long, long, long time. Come on now. And as you just said, that probably is um growing up Jesus, in the holiness. Today. As you just said that, growing up in the holiness church, there was this song that we used to always sing. And I used and, and I used to always be like, what's the meaning of, the, of that song? And it was running. I'm running for my life. And, and, and the words say, I'm running, running, I'm running, I'm running, I'm running for my life. And then the chorus like, if anybody asks you why I'm running, and then, and then you say, tell them I'm running for my life. My Lord. I mean, and so, and that song just playing in my head. I mean, I remember as a little boy, I said, I'm running, 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 running for my life. And so, and so I'm just hearing that in my, in my head now. So th that's what we all been doing, running. We've been running, but where were you running to? You, you didn't have a place. You didn't have a place uh, and, and, until God just um, made himself known to you. But he's been there the whole time. It, it, a, lot of time a lot of time, we as people have been running in circles. He struck us. See, the devil, gonna think, the devil got you running for your life. But according to the word of God, he said, he that resists, if you resist the devil, he will flee from you. We yes. running from what? We got the power. What you running from? What you running from? We got the power. We running from self, running from your, running from your own. Them demons got you running from the reality of what you really need to know. Running from truth. As long as the devil can keep you running, he can keep you in mischief. He can keep you running. If he can keep you running, he can keep you going. He can run you into that brick wall. But the but see, according to the word of God, he slows us down. He brings you way down. And I'm about to and step give on you those instructions. Give you some things to pay attention to so that you can get rid of things that got you running. I'm about to step on some toes right now, probably. The Lord is even saying, those of y'all um ancestral buffs. That 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 that, uh, that believe in looking up your ancestral histories and and stuff like that. Those ancestral demons from your forefathers, yep. they come in and they having you run from, from, from the, the ones that turn at your great 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 grandfather and your great great grandmother, yep. and, and 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 those demons chasing you now and and and, and making you feel like that you should go back to the ways of the old. Uh, how your ancestors did just, just yep. because your ancestors did it, that don't make it it was right because your ancestors built this sand too. You know, like to, you know to add to what you're saying? You know how you ever, you ever, you ever, um, speaking of the, the forefather, the grandmother, grandfather, grandfather, you ever found something out about yourself and you'd be like, oh my God. And you, you sit down and talk to the elders of your, of your, of your, of your family. And you'd be like, oh, your great grandmother was just like that. You got this. And you like, I didn't know that. That's, those are things that sell down. Mm -hmm. Those are things that are sell down. So this, that's proof of what you're saying. <laughs> you pick up the spirits from them. Their spirits sail down. We gotta get. We gotta figure out what we what what is sailed down through us. Who am I? Where I come from? Who am I? Who were they? What were they like? What kind of personalities did they have? What did they believe in? What was their core values? What did they, what was they involved in? That will give you a whole lot of answers to why you got why you are the way you are. Yes, yes. Could be. You better help say it, you bro. understand where you who why you fighting this spirit. Oh, my great grandmother was horish. My Come great on. great grandfather was horish. Now you see why that whoremonging spirit has sailed down. Come on. My great grandma, my great grandfather was an alcoholic. My grandfather was an alcoholic. My father is an alcoholic.
we have to know where we come from, know what we're dealing with, know the spirits that dwell within you. Don't be blind. The demon, the spirit, the Bible say that the gods of this world. So we know that there's more than one God. That's why when we call on the one and only true and living God, Abba Father, which are Come in on. heaven. Come on, you better say Hallowed be thy name. This is why the Our Father prayer is so important because the gods of this world, who are you praying to? Who are you praying to? We need to know. This is, is this why my prayer ain't going nowhere? Is this why I can't get a prayer through? I'm praying to the wrong gods. What is it? We need to know. And we are we so caught up in running, 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 running. We don't sit down and settle ourselves. We want to allow ourselves to settle so that we can learn something. Amen. We can correct some things. Long as you're running, you will never change nothing. Long as you're running, you will never learn nothing. Long as you're running, you will never pick up nothing new. You will keep running. Mm-hmm. But if you, if the devil can keep running in your feet, you won't run right into hell. Amen. But if you will let God snatch you by the back collar, bring it back. Slow and steady, baby. Bring it down. I'm going to need you to breathe. I'm going to need you to feel something. I'm going to need you to slow down. Stop running from what you're running from, but you got to fit. You got to feel this. You got to feel this pain. That's why when the Lord has given me such a, a consultation, a, a, such a, a method of counseling and counseling the souls of God's people, my spiritually, my spiritual counsel man kick in when I'm counseling and dealing with the souls of God's people in, 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 in consultation. There's methods when I'm, when I'm mentoring people. There's a system that God has given me. You have to feel, baby, we got to go back. You're going to have to rip them band-aids off. We're going to have to take, unleash them, them galls. We're going to have to get raw and uncensored. We're mm-hmm. going back. We're going way back, 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 back. And there are some exercises that need to be done. There are some things that you have to do in the midst of my consultation with you, me mentoring folks. There's something, there's a process, there's steps, there's levels of counseling. There's a series of counseling steps that you have to do in order to get you to where you need to be because you got to break some barriers you got to go back and figure out where who left the windows open who left the doors open what the demonic worlds is open man that's why i don't counsel everybody i don't counsel everybody i don't accept every consultation that come through my doorstep either i may i may reference them out and refer them out to, to one of my sisters or one of my brothers amen because of their, their, because I know my strengths and my weaknesses, and I know what I, I ain't trying to be nobody great. Listen, I do what I can, and what I can't, I can refer you, I can direct you. I, how about this? I have a sister that's going to that's a, that will be more more ready for the you know di, for, di, ready in this area. Or if I'm too pat, the big build up because it's time consuming. It's one on one. It this is build. This is this is this is a, a consultation. Like you go to therapy in in in, in the natural. So Mm -hmm. it's it's, it's intensified, Mm -hmm. personal, it is personal. And you have to go, you have to go back and shut open these doors. And that's why we need God. We need God because there's some things that we're going to go back and we're going to discover some things that we didn't even realize that was there. Amen. And you have to go back. Folk don't want to deal with the back. They're not there yet. They're not ready. They're not emotionally ready yet. They don't have the courage yet to go back. They're not there yet. So they'll go everywhere else trying to dance around it. But at, at the end of the day, if, if it's not me, it's going to be somebody else that teach just as I, and they're going to have, they're going to, you're going to go through the same formality. Just like if all of the churches was, if all our holiness churches and all of our righteous churches and all of the churches uh, that God has built, if they were all teaching sound doctrine, you, you will leave this, you will leave this outreach and you will go to somebody else's and you will hear the same thing. Mm-hmm. That's why Paul said, let us all speak the same thing. Let us all mind the same thing. That there be no quarrel and there be no division between the brethren and the sisters. Mm-hmm. There'll be no division. Same Amen. thing you get at your church is the same thing you should get at his church. Right? That's what's going to keep us straight. I thank God for this session today. I pray. I thank God. I know we need God. We need the Lord. I thank God for Jesus. I thank God for Jesus. I thank God for Jesus. I'm grateful today. I'm, I'm grateful. We need the Lord. We need the Lord. We need Jesus. We need the Lord. Generational curses. Yes. That's what they're called. That's the, that's what the natural man call them. Generational curses. Yep. That's what we call them in the natural. I need thee. 
I need thee, Lord, every hour. Every hour of the day, I need thee. Deliver me, O oh Lord. Deliver me, O oh Lord. And that's what's got us. We caught up in the world. But once you start detoxing yourself, you will start finding out exactly where you are. We need God. We need the Lord. We need Jesus today to shine down on us, to, 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 to move in us, to play, uh, misplay. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Miss Platt on the line. Mm. Miss Platt. Touch Miss Platt, touch Miss Platt, touch Miss Cass, Miss Neely. Touch right now all of those that came in, all of those that came in, those that has came in and walked out, those that are still watching on the line. Lord, we need you today. The souls of your people touch Nick today. Lord, mm. we need you today. Touch Nick. I'm lifting up Nick. Go behind prison walls, Lord. Touch Nick, Lord. Touch Demetrius. <clears throat> touch these men, God. Touch every man, every boy, every girl, every soul, every child, every child behind the prison walls. Lord, we need you. We need you. We repent. We confess. Um. Lord, I touch and agree with I touch and agree with Brian Collins as well. Brian Collins, yes. Brian Collins, oh God. Touch him right now. Touch his father. Touch Brian Collins. Brian Collins Sr. Touch his uncles, Alan. Touch his aunts. Touch his uncles. Touch the rest of the family. Touch the all his all his sisters and brothers and cousins. My Lord, my Lord, my Lord, my Lord, my Lord, my Lord. Touch the Stokes family. Touch Jerry Stokes. Touch Jerry Stokes in Jesus' name, Lord. Touch him yeah. right now from the crown of his head to the soles of his feet. Touch right now the Anderson family. Lord, we need you today. You see the souls of your people. You see the misleading. You see the you see the confusion. You see the you see the detriment. You see the souls. You see the you see the family pathologies, Lord. You see the pathology, the family pathologies of all of us. You see the family pathologies. You see the mess we've come from. You see the lineage we've come from. You see where you brought us from. You see the you see the mangers we've been birthed in. You see the filthiness we've been birthed in. You see. You see it, Lord. You see it up close and personal. You see it, God. You see the witchcraft. You see the you see the, the, the alcoholism, the addiction. You see the crap. You see the mishandling. You see the ungodliness. You see the, the lust, the lasciviousness. You see it, oh God. 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 You see the alcoholism. You see the rebellion, oh God. You see the witchcraft, Lord. You see the, the uh, stubbornness, God. You see it, Lord. You see the demonic forces. You see the witchery. You see the witchery. God, you see the uh, ancestry. You see all of the foolery, you see the ungodly, you see the heresy, you see the false doctrine, the falsehoods. Lord, you see it. Lord, you see it. You see it, you see it, Lord. You see it, Lord. You see it. Lord, you see it. Oh God, you see it. You've opened our eyes. You've given us an ear to hear, Lord. Oh God, God, Lord, you see it, you see it, you see it, and Lord, today we see it. Our eyes are open, God. We no longer want to live this way, Lord. Lord, we rebuke the spirit of deception. We rebuke those spirits of deception, Lord. We come before you today with repentance on our lips, Lord. Forgive me, oh God, that I'll be not a hindrance, Father God. Forgive me of every sin. Forgive me of every sin I've committed that I know of. Forgive me, oh God, of every sin I've committed that I know not of. Lord, that I'll be, be not a hindrance. Lord, that I'll be not a hindrance. Lord, that I'll be not a hindrance. Lord, that I'll be not a hindrance, Lord. Move self out the way. Move me out the way, God. Oh, I beseech you, God, to incline thy ear to my voice, my voice to thy ear, Lord. I beseech you today. I'm calling on your name, God. Our Father, I need you. Our Father, which yes. are in heaven, Lord, the one and only true and living God. Holy Spirit, we're calling on your mercy today. Yes. Oh, Father God, we need you today. God, we need you. Send forth your intercessor today. Send forth Jesus today yes. to intercede in war on our behalf. Dispatch angels, oh God. You see the cowardism, oh God. You see the anxiety. Mm -hmm. You see the depression. You see the depression. You see the oppression. Oh, you see the discouragement. You see the loneliness, God. You see the need. You see the need. You see the needs of your people. Father God, send forth help today. Dispatch angels around about your people. We're calling on help today. Repeat after me. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I messed up. I messed up. I've fallen, God. I, I need you. help, Lord. Need help, yes God. to your will. Yes, yes to your will. way. Yes, yes I'll obey. Yes. I rebelled yes, against yes. your will. I rebelled against your commandments. I rebelled against your will. I rebelled against your commandments. I've done my own thing. Forgive me, oh Jesus. Forgive me, oh Jesus. Forgive me, Lord. Forgive me, God. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm so sorry. sorry. Help so me. Sorry. Help, Help me, me, Lord. Help, Help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. I need you. I need you. I need you. I need you to deliver me from depression. Deliver me from oppression. Deliver me from ungodliness. Deliver me from deception. Deliver me from the spirit of deception. From the spirit of deception. From the spirit of rebellion. 
from the spirit of Does rebellion. Does that not be from the spirit of rebellion? From the spirit Does that not be, Lord, from the spirit of depression? But give me from Deliver me from the spirit of disobedience. Deliver me from the spirit of disobedience. Oh, deliver me from the spirit of disobedience. Deliver me from the world. Deliver me out of the hand of the enemy. Lord, deliver me out of the hand of the enemy. God, deliver me out of the hand of the enemy. Lord, deliver me out of the hand of the enemy. Oh, God. Oh, God. Allow this spirit that had me to release me today. Release me, God. Release me, God. I say yes to your will. I say yes to your will. I say yes to your way. I say yes to your will. Lord, help me today. I need you. Lead me. Lead me, God. Lead me, God. Direct me, God. Direct me, God. Shine light on the dark places of my life. Shine light in the dark areas of my life. Shine light on the dark areas of my life. Today in Jesus' name. Today in Jesus' name. Today in Jesus' name. Today in Jesus' name. Yes to your will. Yes to your will, God. Yes to your way, Father. Tell him you'll do it. Tell him a yes. Give him a yes. Give him a yes. Repent. 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 Repent, Lord Father. I repent right now in the name of Jesus, Lord Father. Have your way, Lord God. Oh, take this pride. Take this. Take this highness away. Oh God, right now in the name of Jesus, Lord Father, I pray, I pray, I pray. Yeah, no, 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 have your way, have your way in this season, Lord. Have your way in my life, Lord. For my life is not my own, Lord Father. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you, Lord. Oh, Lord God, I thank you. I thank you, Lord. Lord, I give up holy hands. I give up, I give up my hands, Lord, to you. I give up, Lord Father. I give up right now in the name of Jesus, Lord Father. I give up right now, Father. Have your way, have your way in my life, Lord God. Have your way, have your way, Father. Have your way, have your way, Jesus. Have your way, have your way, Father. For you are, you are awesome, God. You are awesome. You are Almighty God. You are Almighty God. We just thank you. We thank you, Lord God. Lord, I give you praise, Lord God. I give you praise, Lord. I give you praise, Father. I wave my hands to you, Father. I wave my hands to you, Father. For you are awesome. Awesome God. Awesome guy, you're awesome, you're awesome, you're awesome guy. You, you are the ruler of my life, God. You are Abba Father, Lord God. You're Jesus Christ, you're the comforter in my life, Lord God. I thank you, Lord God. I thank you, I thank you, I thank you, I thank you. I thank you, I thank you, God. I thank you, God. I thank you, I thank you, I thank you, I thank you, God. Oh, they hit that, oh, they hit that, they hit that, oh, hook up, papa. Oh, God, I got, I thank you, 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 God. Holy God, have your way. Wherever I go, Lord God. Wherever I put my feet on, Lord Father. Oh, Lord God, I put my feet on the side of rock, Lord God. Oh, put your feet on the side of rock where you stand. Oh, Lord God, we thank you. 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 We thank Oh Lord, Lord, my heart, my mind, my soul, my body, my spirit, my soul belongs to you, Father. We thank you. We thank you, Jesus. Yes to your will and yes to your way, Father. Oh God, you're the God of Isaac, Abraham, and Jacob. Yes, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. Thank you, Lord. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, oh God. 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 We trust you. We need you. <clears throat> we trust you. We need you. Yes to your will. Yes to your way. Help us today. Help us today. Help us today. We thank you. He just want a yes. He want a yes. He want a yes. He want a yes. Amen. God will move on your behalf. God will move, God will move, God will move, God will move on your behalf. I'm trying to fog my glasses up. Hold this, I'm so hot over here. Mm -hmm. Ooh, help me, Jesus. Help us today. Help us today. In Jesus' name, we pray. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Help us today. Help us today. Help your people. You see the need. You see the need. You see the need. You see the need. You see the need, you see the need, you see the need, God. You see the need, you see the need. 
You see the need. You see the need. You see the need. You see the need. You see the need. You see the need. You see the need, God. Help us today. Help us today. We need you. If you don't move today, Lord, it won't be done. If you don't do it, Lord, it can't be done. If you don't help us, God, we can't be helped. If you don't change us around, Lord, if you don't transform us by the renewing of our mind, God, if you don't give us a new transplant, if you don't give us a mind transplant, if you don't give us a new mind, if you don't create in us a clean heart, renew within us a right spirit, Lord, it won't be done. It can't be done. Lord, help us today. Yes, Lord. Help us today. Help your souls of your people. We are in need all over the world, all over the globe. You see the need. You see the conditions. You see the pathologies of our family. You see the family pathologies, Lord. You see it. You see it, God. You see it. You see it. We bless your name. We honor you. We honor you. We honor you. You are our strength. You are our Lord. You are the Ruach of our very existence. We give this breath back to you. With every breath that I take, every word that come out of my mouth is to edify you, Lord. No idle words shall come out of my mouth. No filthy conversations in the name of Jesus. Help us today. Help us today. Help us to correct our conversations, to get ourselves, get ourselves in order. Help us to prepare. Help us to prepare for that great day. Oh, God, help us. Save us. Sanctify us. Holy Ghost, fill us. Keep us. Lead us. Guide us. Bring us into all spiritual truth. Lord, we need you. We need you, Lord. Oh, we thank you, 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 we thank you. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you. We thank you, 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 we thank you. We thank you, oh God, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you. We thank you for salvation, we thank you for what you're doing. We thank you for what you're doing, we thank you for what you're gonna do. We thank you for salvation, thank you for total deliverance. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Amen. Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. You're worthy, God. You're, worthy. You're awesome, God. We honor you. We honor you in spirit and in truth, Father. For God is a spirit. God is a spirit. Try the spirit. Try the spirit. That's what the word is saying. Try the spirit in all that you do. Whoever you come across, try the spirit. Try their spirit, because their spirit, their people that you were rooted to right now, their spirit is not anchored in God. So, 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 so God tells you to move, be not associated with those that, that that's not of of Christ, of of not in that lineage. We we all had to be rooted in rooted in our father. We had to be rooted in him. God, we just thank you, Father. We thank you for your precious word, Lord Father. We thank you for the 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 the, the everlasting to everlasting that you reign over us, Lord Father. Well, we give you praise and honor, Lord God. I thank you, Lord Father, for being the great I am that I am in my life and in everyone else's life, Lord Father. Lord, I ask that you continue just to reign, reign in our lives, Lord Father. Reign, in, reign on, in our lives in the spirit and in the natural, Lord Father. God, God, you are all, you are all so, you, God, you're just so sweet to us. You're sweeter than a honeycomb, Lord Father. You're sweeter than every savory sense on this earth. You, Lord God, you're just so awesome, Lord Father. Lord God, you don't only lead us to it, but you lead us through it, Lord Father. And Lord God, there's a, there's a blessing on the other side of through, Lord God. So we say thank you. We thank you for the deliverance. We thank you for total deliverance, Lord Father. And it don't mean once we get delivered to run back to it and pick it back up again. But Lord, I say thank you for the total deliverance of what you um put in our lives, Lord. To, that that wherever, wherever we um, tread our foot up on, Lord Father, that it be blessed. And I just thank you in Jesus' name. I pray. Amen. Prophet, um, and I, and I'm, I guess I'm learning to be like you. Um, the Lord popped this up in front of my eyes. Um, the, the scripture right here. I want to read this. Um, um, before the people. Um, I'm, it's still in Thessalonians. Um, it's um, Second Thessalonians nine through nineteen, nine through twenty. I'm sorry. 
It said, for ye remember, brethren, our labor and travail, for labor and night and day, because we would not be chargeable unto any of you. We preach unto you the gospel of God. Ye are witnesses, and God also, how holy and justly and unblameably we have blamed ourselves among you that believe. As ye know how we exhorted and comfort and charge every one of you, as a father does his children, that ye will walk worthy of God, who hath called you unto his kingdom and glory. For this cause also thank we God without ceasing, because we received the word of God, which ye heard of us. Ye received it not as the word of men, but as in the truth, the word of God, which effectually worked also in the in, in, in you that believe. For you, brethren, became followers of churches of God, which is in Judea, are in Christ Jesus. For ye also know, uh, for you also have suffered like things of the world, uh, of your own countrymen, even as they have of the Jews, who both killed, killed the Lord Jesus and their own prophets, and have persecuted us. And they also pleased not God, and, and are contrary to all men forbidding us to speak to the Gentiles that they might be saved, to fill up their sins always. For the wrath is come upon them to the uttermost. But we, brethren, being taken from you for a short time in presence, in, in, in heart, yeah, in, 17. But we, brethren, being taken from you for a short time in presence, not in heart, endeavored the more abundantly to see your face with great desire. Wherefore, we will have come unto you, even I, Paul, once again, but Satan hindered us. For what is our hope, our joy, our crown of rejoicing? Are not even ye in the presence of the Lord Jesus Christ at his coming? For ye are our glory and our joy. May God have the blessing to reading his holy word. And God was letting me know when he pointed it out to me just now. No matter who is connected to us, no matter who has spoken over us in the past, no matter who thought they was our world, we got to cut them off. But for God is a jealous God. And God said, if I don't have you now, if I don't have to hold you now, I'm going to get it. I'm, I'm going to get you one way or another. If I had to cut these people off, it's kind of like the Lord just said, he, he's showing me now. When you have a, a, a piece of uh, chicken or, 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 or a piece of meat, the well, first thing you do when you get your meat, you ch you turn the fat off around that meat. Because because the fat the fat takes away from the um the fat takes away from the meat it takes away from the um the the, the, the flavor and everything if you cook the fat you, I mean you you just be chewing on fat it's no meat it's no protein in it so so God said I trim away that fat I trim I trim away the assets around that around around that meat and then, and he said I throw that meat away. I, I, I mean, I, he said, "I throw that fat away," and he said, "I concentrate on the meat because I." He said, "Because you are the salt, you're the you're the salt of the earth, you're the flavor of the earth." So, so, so with that meat, I'm the meat. So, I so so the Lord said, he he adds in the flavor and, and he mixes the flavor to the meat to to to, 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 to um so 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 so, 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 so I mean it's kind of like um you be able to have a fine dine and have a fine a fine meal and that meal be edified to your spirit and to your body and that's all God is saying right now. God is saying that He's ready for us to take to take hold of uh, of the feast of the great feast. And the great feast is him. He want to eat with us. He want to. He want us to dine with him. He's a gentleman. He pulling out your chair. Probably he pulled. He pulled your chair out. He and as you sit down, probably he pull your seat. He pull your seat back up for you. There you go. There you go. Probably and then and then you know he go another step further. 
he get your napkin and he put the napkin around your neck. And, See and, and your lap. And your lap. And, 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 and you know what? And you know what? Probably he go another step further at that table. He get your he get your uh, he get your glass and he fill your glass up with the water, the holy the, the holy water of the spirit. He fill that glass up all the way to the top and the ice living water. Never thirst again. And, 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 and that glass is filled, and it, and it, and, it, and it's pure of, of um it's better than no rock spring waters that come from the wells. It, it's, that, oh it's, that, it's that it's that it's that it's that water that, that you'll never thirst again. And that's what God is saying now. Come taste and see how good he is. He's good. And you know what? And you can't even get to the meal yet because you, you, you're so, because the water at the table is just so good. And you don't even want to let go of the water. Right, right. Because once right. you get a hold, once you get a hold of the meat, oh my God, you really going to. But 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 that water, that glass is just so you just keep drinking it. You keep drinking it. You don't even want to put it down. Because you know what? You know what they used to say, stop drinking so much before your food come out there, because you're gonna be full off that. You're gonna be mm -hmm. yep. Yep. Never thirst again. You'll never be thirsty again. You'll never be thirsty again drinking off this water. You'll never have to worry about it again. You'll never What's have to fight another battle. On this side of the fence, for the battle is not ours, it belongs to the Lord. He Amen. will fight our battles. He will fight our battles. Amen. Amen. I thank God for Jesus. Oh, I'm just I give thanks. I give thanks. I not just give thanks for me, but I give thanks for you in advance. I give thanks for all of you in advance. Man. One by one, name by name, family by family, marriage by marriage, city by city, state by state, uh, 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 nation by nation. I'm giving thanks for the overthrowing of the devourer of the enemy in your lives today. I am giving thanks for our White House. I thank God for our president. I'm asking God to cover our president, cover our legislation, cover our, our leadership here in the states, cover the leadership in your state, cover the leadership over your life. In the name of Jesus, I'm asking God to, 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 to cover, to protect, to shield and direct, help us. I'm, I'm asking God to cover and, and, and keep us, cover your children, your grandchildren, my children, my grandchildren, the neighbor's children, the, the next country, their children, Canada's children, all the children in Canada, all those that are Ethiopia, and African, South part of the country, North, South, East, West, every corner of the country, every nation, all of the nations, and all the nations of Israel, all, what is it, 13 nations of Israel? Yes. All of them. I'm asking God to cover all of those nations, cover all of the other nations. There's so many nations around the world. They need to be prayed for. They need to be covered. We need to be lifting them up and travailing. I'm thanking God today for your salvation. I'm thanking God today for your turnaround. God is going to do it. Amen. God is going to do it. Don't lose sight on the prayer that you prayed today. That was a repentance prayer. You cried and prayed and snotted and asked God that you were sick and tired. Oh, Lord. I'm so sick and tired. Some of these demons in our lives are so big because they sailed through a generation that was way before that we don't know nothing about. Mm -hmm. We fight demons we don't even know about. Because you got the older people that don't commune with the young people and the young people that don't commune and disrespecting the old people. So you don't get the old and the young people to come together so that we can get the wisdom from them and they can get updated from us. Prophecy, you know something else? A lot of the older people, they done did um, dirt and they done did, they done been in their sins and stuff, and they'll die going to their grave before they tell the new generation. They won't tell them nothing. Now the, now the new generation don't know what kind of demons they fighting. They don't know if they're going or coming. So confused, the demons got their mind. They don't know that you was in their kind. They ain't know that you was playing, you and your friends used to play with Ouija boards when we were, before Ooh, I was born. Come on. See? The generation don't know that. Now, here these kids coming up with all these Scientologies and all these different doctrines and all these different conjurings and worshipings of angels and devils and spirits. <clears throat> Come you on. Have to be careful. You got to be careful. You got to be careful. You got to be careful. You don't know. Sit down. Don't let the devil deceive you. 
That's why the Bible tells us, deceive not your own self. Because if them devils and them demons ain't deceiving you, they didn't convince you with the spirit of deception to deceive and lie to you. Now you're lying mm. to your own self. Amen. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Let God, let God reveal. Listen, it's going to hurt. It's going to hurt. It's going to be hard. But do it hard. Do it hard. Fight, do it through, fight, fight to do it, do it hard, do it through the tears, do it through the pain. So many times I've, 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 I've done the things that I've obeyed God in pain. I've obeyed God through the pain. I did it scared. I had to obey God in fear. I had to go in places, in places I didn't know of, places was just me and say stuff and do stuff. And, and, and I was scared and I was paralyzed and with some things. I'm like, whoa, 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 wait a minute. I was intimidated. Do it intimidated. Do it in fear. Do it scared. Just do it. That's that faith you jumping out on. If you go, if you do it, he will open. He said, uh-uh, Lord, you know I can't talk. You know I got a stuttering problem. But you know my brother Aaron, he speak better than me. He said, do it scared. You just open your mouth. And the moment you open your mouth, I will definitely feel it. And you will say exactly what I want you to say. I'll put the words in your mouth. All you got to do is just open your mouth. Just obey. Trust Amen. me. Trust me. He's saying today, trust me. Just trust me. I got you, baby. I won't let you fall. If you do it my way, I won't let you fall. You will never eat dust again. You will never eat off the bottom of the sea again. You will never be, you will never be in, the, in, in the chicken coop again. Huh? You come and eat off my plate. You come do it my way. I will have you flying like eagles. You will meet an eagle in passing. Amen. Because the higher up you go, the less of us you see. Amen. Because as you see, eagles don't hang in packs. They doloists. Mm, they soar. And they're doloists. They don't do it with a pack. See, you find chickens and find, you find, you find folks that stay, you, you find those that are summons to the ground. Scavengers, you find scavengers that hang in packs. Mm. You find chickens scavengers cackle. that hang in packs. Chickens cackle. Birds. Chickens. The eagles soar. Yep. See, you got to be careful. You got to be careful because you are what you eat, who you eating from, who you hanging with. What you eat, you eating shrimps and lobsters today, then you're a bottom feeder. You got a you, that thing? you got a bowl, a, a crab bowl. Yeah, yeah. crab bowl. You're a, bad, you're a bottom feeder. Yeah. <laughs> you are what you eat. Yeah. You're a bottom feeder. We don't eat bottom feeders. The word of God tells us we don't eat nothing without scales and fins. We don't eat bottom feeders. We don't do that. Everything natural is spiritual. You are what you eat, spiritually and literally. Spiritually and literally. You are what you eat. You like crab bowls? You like shrimp today? <laughs> you like catfish? Come on. You like pig? You like pork chops? <laughs> you like bacon? You like a ham sandwich? <laughs> you are what you eat. You're a bottom feeder. You're a scavenger. And that's what scavengers do. Scavengers are who they are. You know who a scavenger. Watch how they eat. God give us to know things. God give his people to know the mysteries and the secrets of life. He gives us insight. He gives us insight. He goes in depth to show us things, how you can recognize what you're dealing with. Pay attention to how they eat. Pay attention to their diet. They'll tell you who they are. I, yeah, that'll show you if they're men or women or me. Oh, we can eat everything God made was good. The Bible say, no, 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 no. Ba, 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 ba. He said it in the old. He did not come to change the old. He did not come to change it. He came to fulfill it. He gave us instructions in the old, and that's the instructions that will follow us in the new. God didn't start his pig when he was at the Last Supper. It wasn't no, it wasn't no pig roast. It you, wasn't no crab boil. Trust and believe in what you forgot chitterlings were there. All the chitterlings <laughs> and the ham hocks. I know. And, and pig, pig feet. The pig feet. The pickle pig feet. Yeah. Pig tails. Pig tails. We used to have pickle. We used to have pickle pig feet. We used to have corner stores where I come from. We used, we still got corner stores back home. We got corner stores on the corner store on the on the on the counter of every corner store. You're gonna see a, a jar of pickles, 
and you're going to see a jar of pig feet, a jar of something, and we ain't got no business eating. I go get the hot pickles all day. Fresh hot pickles. Could love them. Woo! Still do. Got a couple in the refrigerator. Love them. Still biting. <laughs> Come on, people. Let's get our diets together because God would not dwell in the unclean temple. If we learn this word, we'll, them scriptures will start coming up through our lifestyle. And you'll find yourself shifting and pivoting and shifting and shifting and molding until he create, until he molds you and sculpt you and carve out everything in you that ain't like him. And you'll be, you'll be fit for the kingdom. You'll be Come fit on. for the master's hand. But he got to carve you. He got to get you out of the crab bowls. He got to get you off the pickle. He got to get you off the pickle pig feet. He got to get you out of the, he got to get you out of the hog pen with the chickens. He got to curve and he got to bring you over here and he got to wash you up and floss your teeth and huh? he got to get all the taste out your mouth. He got to floss your teeth and get all the pork out your teeth. He got to get your mind right. He got to flush you. huh? He got to separate you. Hmm? He would do it. Trust me, if he can do it for me, man, listen, I don't think y'all understand. If he came to the valley, to the projects, to the gutter, 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 where I was gully at. To speak to me? <laughs> what in God's greener? All that big as you is, what do you want with little old trifling me? Mm -hmm. That was what I said. What, what you want with me? Nobody want me. Amen. What did you want? With, what do you want with me? I said, nobody wants me. I said, my mother and my father didn't want me. I said, nobody wants me. Why, why you, what, what, what do you want with me? I'm nothing and I have nothing. Mm. That's what I said to him. If he can do it for me, if he can clean me up and polish me up, Take me out of the darkness. Bring me into the light. The marvelous light. What he's done for me, what he's done for me is, is all I need to know that it is possible for anybody. This is why I come the way I come. Because if he can, if he can just give me a new sight and just help me see different and I came from some, some, I came from a lifestyle and a life. I came from a, I came from my family pathology is not nice. My family pathology is not nice. That's the cleanest way I can put it. That's the cleanest way I can put it. My family pathology is just not nice. I come from a line of whores and pimps and addicts. I come from a line of whores, pimps and addicts. Whores, pimps, and addicts, worldliness, cheating, lying, stealing, and conniving. If he can come to the house of dens, thieves, to rescue me, there's hope for you. And you, 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 and the rest of y'all. Amen. Thank God. While I was in it, he fixed me so I wouldn't become the whores that I've seen all around me. Mm. He allowed cancer to strike in my life. Come on. I was diagnosed with cancer by the time I was 15. By the time I was 14. I was 14, went to a, a, a regular a doctor's appointment for some other things, and there's something else that was discovered. He allowed me to have, he allowed cancer to strike in my life and where it hit me at, it was in my cervix. Jeez. I was young, in my cervix. So now, that put me sexually out of commission. Come on. So in my youth, in my teenage youth, I couldn't have sex. He fixed it in my life to where as though he was going to make sure in the midst of the mess that I was coming out of, he made sure you, I'm going to fix you to where as though you going to go through some hell, but it won't be the hell that you're coming from because I got a, a plan for your life. 
And if you get caught up in this sex train, it's going to be the death of you. You ain't going to make it because some AIDS and everything else is waiting for you. Ooh, Jesus, Jesus, So Jesus. I'm going to spare you of that, but you're going to go through a hell that looks like this. And he allowed cancer to hit my life. So I went through, I went through the hell of infirmities to avoid going through the hell of harlotry. Mm. Just so that he can save my soul, save my body and preserve my body at the same time, right? So now I don't just speak that you can be kept. I live that you can be kept. So now as I'm divorced, it's easy for me to retreat to celibacy and no sex, no touching, no sex conversations. It's easy for me to retreat to that because I've developed that in my youth. Mm. Mm. Come on, come on, come on. God is a keeper. God is a keeper. Mm. I just want you to know. I just want you to know, and I don't want to take too much of the time because I know that we, we, we do this in the flow of God, but he just laid on my heart to give that testimony. Come on. To let you know. He can keep you. And you may be saved from one thing and you may run into something different, but all things work together for the good to them that love the Lord and is called according to his purpose. He knew I loved him before I even knew him. I didn't even know him, but I had a love for him that if I found him, I didn't have a problem with obeying and complying and conforming and just giving him my yes. Yes. Just giving Mm -hmm. him my yes. Mm, hallelujah, God. Just giving him my yes. Hallelujah. If you gave him your yes today, if you gave him your yes today, stay connected. Yes. Start reading your Bible. Go to the book of Matthew. Start reading the book of Matthew. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, and sequentially uh, Acts, uh, 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 Acts, and all the rest of the books, uh, Ephesians, Galatians, all of those, uh, First and Second Corinthians and Galatians, and all of those that come after, um, sequentially, Start reading your Bibles in the book in the New Testament. The Old Testament is not done away with, it's your reference guide now. You don't start reading in Genesis. No, you'll start in Matthew. Start in your B attitude. Start in Matthew chapter, first chapter, and, and keep going. If you gave God your yes today during this prayer, if you rededicated yourself to God today, if you gave him your yes, if you repeated the prayer, start reading your book in Matthew. Start reading in the book of Matthew. Get you a good Bible. Get you a good Bible. Go over on my page and search for the list. But there's a list of different Bibles that you just should stay away from, that they be not a hindrance to your walk. Because as we read today, and I it came up again today, Paul was telling them, he said, listen, because the devil has hindered us. Come on. The devil will hinder you. Even if you saved, there's a he can't, he can't do you like he did you when you was unsaved on this side of the fence that's being saved he can't take you but he can hinder you and he can hold you up Amen. and he can derail you he can derail you that will delay what you got going on even the bible said that jesus had delayed his coming giving the saints time to get us to get it together he's giving us time we, we ain't gonna have no excuses because I'm going to see his face. Mm-hmm. I'm going to tell you about me. I will see your face. I will see your face, Lord. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you allow me to see your face because the glory is too big for me. But I tell you what, I will be in the presence of the Lord. I will make it to the presence of this. What I'm, how I jump in and out of prayer and, and talk to the Lord, that ain't nothing. I'm going to sit there and reverence and reverence him and bow before him and praise him and thank him. And honor him, oh my God, oh my God, on that day. Hallelujah. Amen. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. The Lord just said, my hallelujah belongs to him. Hallelujah. My hallelujah belongs to Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You encourage me. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Everything the woman of God is, is true. I'm sorry. I say everything the woman of God just said is true. And you know what? Uh, Prophets, um, I'm not going to take up too much time, but 
as you were speaking, I did hear this. I did hear the Lord say that many of us have gone through our situations, but it's, it's made us better because we know who we can fall on. We know whose arms that we can rest in. We know who arms that we are we're 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 um we're caressed in. So but so and then I thank God that you gave the repentance prayer today. And you know we 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 know who who's we are. So let's continue to just operate in the in the calling that God has for us. What was your song you said? Oh, my hallelujah belongs to you. What did you say? Continue to operate in them. Huh? You were saying you said we have to continue to operate. Yeah, operate uh, operating in, in, in the calling that God has for us. Each of us had different callings, different gifts. Yeah. And, and you know what? Your gift is not for you. Your gift is for your brother and your sister. It's for the edifying of the body of Christ. Amen. For the edifying of the body. That's why the Bible tells us to seek the most earnest gift. Don't, don't covet my gift. Don't get jealous of what God is doing through me and how God operates through me. Because how God operates through me is because of the pressures and the lifestyle I had to live. So you can't walk in my shoe. But the lifestyle that you lived and you're going through, that's going to determine how God is going to, how God is going to gift it you. And in the midst of you living and walking this life, you ought to be praying and asking God, Lord, show me my direction. Show me my post. Where, where is my, where is my, where, what part of the body am I? What part of the body am I? That's the way you're questioning to God. What part of the body am I, Lord? What is it that you have me to do? And he'll show you. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 Mm. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We bless your holy name. We bless your holy name. We bless your Thank you, Holy Spirit. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 You deserve it, Jesus. <laughs> He's awesome. Amen. Hallelujah. We thank y'all. We thank you everyone for joining us today. We thank you for, for being partakers of this of this feast, of this word, of this prayer. We thank you. For God is a God of love. He's a God of peace. He's a God of patience. And we just thank y'all. We love y'all. You got anything else, Prophet? No, sir. Okay, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and pray us out. And, and, and as the music is playing and in the background, and then the Holy Spirit is, a, is amongst us. Lord, Heavenly Father, we embrace you right now, Father. We thank you for your sweet communion of, the, of your Holy Spirit, Lord, Father. Your sweet presence, Lord God. Your diligence, Lord, Father. Your, your, uh, your, your ambience, Lord, Father. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord, Father, for your grace and mercy, Father. 
Oh God, for you are perfect in all that you do. You are perfect, Lord oh God. You're everlasting, God. You are omnipresent, Lord oh God. You're all knowing. You're all seeing. You're all being, Lord oh Father. You just, you're just all in all, Lord oh Father. You just everything to us, Father. You are the great I am that I am. So, Lord, we just want to just say thank you. Thank you for allowing us to see this morning, Lord Father. Thank you for allowing us to be a, a, a amongst the land of the living, Lord Father. Lord, I have a praise on my tongue this morning, Lord Father. And Lord God, I pray that I have this for the rest of my life, Lord Father. Lord, right now, I just want to pray for each and every person that participated, Lord Father. That the, and it participated live and participated on on. on on the um, replay, Lord Father. I pray, Lord, that your will be done in our lives, Lord Father. Now let's pray for our going out and our coming in, Lord Father. Lord, I pray, Lord Father, for each and every person that's going to the appointments today, Lord, that the ERs and the hospitals, Lord Father. Lord, just cover each and every person, Lord Father. And Lord, and we pray that we return home safely. And we just want to say thank you, Lord, for your will and your ways. And we just pray for the family dynamic, Lord Father. That the word the word was spoken and the prayers were prayed on today, Lord. And we just say thank you and we love you. And we just give you praise, 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 and worship and worship and worship, Lord God. In this hour, in this moment, we love you. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Ooh, I thank you, man of God. I thank you, man of God, for covering us and keeping us, covering us today and, and making sure we are covered. I thank you. I appreciate you. I ask yeah. God to keep you and protect you and shield you from hurt, harm, and danger, seen and unseen. Make a pavement and go before you, oh God, forerun before him, oh God. Paving away before him, oh God, on today. Keeping him, oh God. Lord, allow your spirit to go before him, allowing your presence to be made known in the room with him. In the name of Jesus, touching everyone under the roof that he's under because of he's with you, because he brought you with him, God, that everyone in the room just walked in on a, into a miracle, walked into a blessing. Keep every machine operable today. Keep every, every assistant manageable today. Keep everybody healthy. Keep every fever down. Keep every blood pressure and every vital, all vitals, oh God, are regulated, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Healing in the name of Jesus over at the, uh, the Vita, the Vita, the Vita uh, a diagnostic place. Lord, touch the place. Touch them right now. Touch the center, God. The Vita, uh, 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 what are we doing? Dialysis. Yes. The Vita Dialysis Center. Touch everyone in, in the building. All of the security guys. Touch Mr. Ty God. Touch Mr. Ty oh God on his post. Cover him. Protect him. Heal his body. We rebuke gout. We rebuke blood. Uh, uh, we rebuke fluid on his body. We rebuke yes. any fluid, any aches and pains in his body, lower back issues, any lower back extremities, any headaches. We rebuke it. Amen. Any headaches, Amen. we rebuke it. Any gout, any swollen of the joints, and we rebuke it. We rebuke infirmities in his body. We rebuke it. We rebuke it. Touch Sister Smalls on her post. Touch Sister D, uh, 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 D on her post today. Touch Sister Neely in her post today. Touch these ladies in their bodies. Cover them in their bodies. We rebuke any inflammation, any infirmities. We rebuke any infirmities, any mental illnesses, any mental illness, any mental illness, any mental anguish, any mental illness, every deception. We rebuke it. We can do rebuke you can every aches and pains they're in the medical field touch and cover these women they're all in medical they're all in medical they're all in service business they're all servicing someone we ask right now that you'll cover them protect them touch their patients touch their patients and clients today in the name of jesus touch their patients and clients today in jesus name touch the smith family the warren family the cathcart family touch every family today in jesus name we pray we thank you amen amen and amen amen <coughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Touch Demetrius and touch Nick. Amen. Right now, God. In transition, God. Open the door, Lord. Have mercy on them, God. Have mercy. Have mercy. Have mercy. Have mercy. Have mercy. Have mercy. Touch have Taylor mercy. as well, Lord. Touch Tyler. Touch Taylor. Touch, have mercy. Touch Taylor. Touch her from the crown of her head to the soles of her feet. Touch these children. Touch these children. Touch these children. Touch Raymond. Touch these children, touch my grandchildren today. Touch, 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 touch Mr. Smith, grand, uh, uh, Prophet Smith grandchildren today. Touch these children today. Touch these children, touch these children, touch these children. Mr. Ty, Mr. Ty, Mr. Ty, Lord, we ask a special prayer, whatever the situation is, Lord. 
Whatever the situation is, whatever the situation is, Lord, cover and protect them, shield them from her harm or danger. Cover them, Lord. Have mercy, have mercy, have mercy. Draw them by your divine spirit in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. I thank you guys. Thank you so much, man of God. I appreciate y'all. I appreciate you all. I appreciate you all for coming. You challenge me and you push me to keep showing up no matter what. No matter what I feel like, no matter what it looked like. That's what that's what we do. We 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 help her one to another. Amen. You come and ask him for help, causes me to help, causes me to dig in the low, dig in the bag to ask for help. It challenges us all. Everybody's being challenged. It's this, it's this, it's the gift of reciprocity. Mm -hmm. God is a God of reciprocity. He said, if you give, it will be given. Run it over, shaken together, press down what God calls men to give into your bosom. Now it's being given to you because you gave to God. Now it's being given to you because you gave to God. Now it's being given to you because you gave to God. Now you give it to somebody else. Now they give it to somebody else and they coming to somebody and somebody now coming to you and coming to them because you came to them and they came to you and you came to God. It's the gift of reciprocity. It just keeps the gift of giving that keeps on giving. Mm hmm and that is the gift of life. It just keeps going. It keeps giving, keeps giving, keeps giving, it keeps giving. And with that, God is blessing. So when you bless, I'm blessed. When I'm blessed, you bless. When we bless, we all bless. And all of us blessed together will be a blessed nation. Oh, it, 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 you know what, Prophet? I'm sorry. One, one more thing before we go. No, take your time. Um, I want to thank God for for for, for um um the return of um. My, my my nephew uh Tyler Smalls. Yeah. <laughs> Thank God for Tyler Smalls. Um, uh, you know, it, 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 a, a blessing, a blessing. God. God is good. God. Hey, hey, nephew, I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you, nephew. Right. We were rebuking, we were rebuking the spirit of division. We were rebuking yeah. the spirit of division and enmity and families. The spirit of enmity, the spirit of division among sisters, amongst brothers, amongst brothers and sisters and mothers and fathers and sisters and brothers and rebuke that spirit of division. God is good. He's good. Thank you, Lord. We lift you up. We lift you up. We lift you up, God. He made a way. He will make a way. Yes. That's the kind of yes. God we serve. He will make a way. If you call for help, he's going to make a way. Watch, mark my words. So as my name is Prophetess Adams, within the next 24 to 48 hours, you're going to see some stuff, miraculous stuff start happening in your lives. You did that repentance cry today. Watch. Amen. In Jesus' name, we thank God and pray. You guys go on about y'all's day. Have a wonderful day. Be blessed in the Lord. I'm asking God to cover you, keep you, protect you, shield you, take and bring you back at the appointed time. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. Amen. Have a great day, guys. Blessings, a, blessings. Blessing, Have blessing. a great day, and I'll talk to you soon. Amen. Amen. Talk to you later. Talk to you later.